Last time on Tim Plays a Game. There it is. Oh, Link. You've done it now. Good. I'm glad you're dead, for lack of a better term. It's like nightmare if, if nightmare fuel and crack had a baby. <laughs> hey, lens of truth. All right, gotta go back in time. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta go back in time. What's up, everyone? It's Tim from Tim Plays Game here with Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playing on Nintendo Switch. Tonight we are in the Shadow Temple. Probably <laughs> probably the creepiest dungeon in, uh, really in Zelda history, but yeah, Ocarina of Time. Shadow will yield only to the... Yeah, I already did this. Usually you'd have to go all the way here. Problem is I don't have a lot of magic power right now. Right, so let's go left first. I'm gonna try and do the most for the most this for the most part without the walkthrough if I can help it. He gains the eye of truth, yeah. Shadow Temple, here is gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. I love what you've done with the place. What is hidden in the darkness, tricks full of ill will. You can't see the way forward. Yeah, you can. <laughs> oh, here we go. We have to do this to bring this guy out. That's much easier, though. Unfortunately, got him grab you. Lower your head. Lower your stupid, jiggly head. The only burrows underground, that's... He's much easier to destroy this time with when you have a freaking two-handed battle sword. <laughs> By the way, I have the bigger on sword. Previous videos I got it. If you want to know how to get it, go back there. <laughs> I think this led us directly to the dungeon map. Look at that. Like three minutes into the video, we already got the dungeon map. Oh, we already got the freaking hover boots. Holy crap. <laughs> Wow, I did not waste any time with that. Okay. Okay. You can even use these to walk over for a short period where there is no solid ground. Be brave and trust in the boots. So, yeah. These, these kind of have no traction, though. That's the bad part. You should notice you kind of slide... Honestly, I would use them in this dungeon and then immediately afterwards take them off. <laughs> I don't like the, the lack of traction on these things. Yeah, Shadow Temple, whatever. 
stepped. <laughs> The cool thing is you can like walk over gaps with these things. It doesn't seem like a lot. Trust me, it's a lot. These boots actually do are really helpful in this room, in this whole area. Make my beak face the skull of truth. The, alter the alternative is descent into deep darkness. Okay. So yeah, you can see how some of them yeah, don't show up. So we need to turn this guy all the way around. <laughs> You actually need the hover boots to get to this area. Okay, we gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, I would have. I would have uh, bypassed. I would have missed the dungeon room. We're going this way, or the dungeon map room. Yeah, I walked right past it the first time. I don't care. Stop taunting. Stop talking to me. That's yeah, in here. It's uh, re-dead. <laughs> they didn't try too hard with this one. Don't worry, it's gonna get crazier. Dang it, peace. <laughs> That's the real enemy here. Not the enemy you can see, it's the enemy you can't see. Here a while. Maybe I got a long freaking sword here. Dang it. Hate these things. Get out of here. There we go. <laughs> and for our trouble, we get the freaking dungeon map. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, basically you want those two things. Dungeon map and zero traction shoes. <laughs> Alright, so dungeon map we got. That's where we are. Okay, so we got through basement one. Yeah, keep checking the lens of truth. And the trick of using lens the lens of truth is just turning it on and off real quickly so it doesn't drain power. Yeah, we already did this. So you need the you need the bo the hover boots to get this far. This next part, we're gonna need bombs. that way. Oh, dang it, wrong one. 
think we actually need to bomb this wall. Yeah. Okay, that one needs a key, so... Let's go left for now, then we'll try the one on the right. Oh, it's the scythe room. You're gonna take some damage on this one. There's no, there's not many ways to avoid it. You can roll under them, but ah, almost fell down there. Sneaky, sneaky. Down there, they grab that one. I'm only counting four. Dang it, no. Yeah, you're gonna wanna jump for you're gonna wanna hook shot from here if you can. No, stop. He is a pro controller and the control sticks are touchy. <laughs> that should be the small key we need. Yep. Let's take a look, yeah. There's a room also to the right. I want to check that out too. I swear these hover boots are useful. They they don't feel useful. Jeez. Hi. <laughs> I promise you they're useful. <laughs> there we go. Boom, boom. Bobby turns green right here. Is that is there something there? Sorry, I, I am kind of looking at a lock uh, at a walkthrough just because this is very annoying. Okay. So, go this way. I think that's where we need to go next. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think we actually kill this guy with fire arrows. Fine, we'll just do it the right this way. Every Zelda game, you can kill kill Gibtoes with fire. <laughs> Not this one. Okay, he's a stupid sun song. Takes two good swipes from the bigger on sword. I might be a little OP with the bigger on sword. I, I, I admit. <laughs> I need that OP. Definitely want to keep an eye on your magic meter. If you haven't expanded the magic meter, definitely do that. Especially now, because a lot of the items you're going to use will require magic, like fire arrows and and obviously the I am truth. <laughs> Okay, so we have the compass now. And good thing is no nothing behind us. Wow. 
This is actually kind of a straightforward dungeon. If you, it, it doesn't quite look like it, but I promise you it is. There are some, but the thing is, it's it looks straightforward, but it's not really. <laughs> Ignore the BMOS. <laughs> One swipe. <laughs> oh, dang it. Get out here, yeah. Stupid spiders. <laughs> they always get me. I'm glad they only take one swipe to kill, but still. I think I could have walked over that one, but I don't want to try it. Good spiders. Be a spider. Watch for the shadows of the monsters on the uh, hang from the. Yeah. On the floor master, I think. doodles. Alright, start again. Yes, start again with the spiders. <laughs> That's the bad part about this. You fall down, you really gotta start over with the freaking spiders. You know, they're Skulltulas, I don't care. <laughs> they're spiders, I kill them with a sword. <laughs> And they keep dropping on, and I keep, and the freaking hover boots make it easy to slide into them because there's no traction on these things. I don't care. <laughs> Master's gonna come out now. Oh. Dang it. Come on out. I gotta go slow. <laughs> I can't remember where they are. One, there's two. I think there's a third one. Hold on, do you have hearts? It's weird, they're just coming out of nowhere. <laughs> Which I guess, but I'm, I'm just saying, I think that's cool and all, but. Yeah. <laughs> I was ready for that one. The fourth one, okay. Fifth one. No. Ooh, okay. My sword's longer than his, so I can... Come 
come on. Yeah, I think there's something over here I want to grab just before I get sent back to where I was before. <laughs> Room. Okay. Yeah, this time we gotta keep this on. skills look at that I can never pull that off again <laughs> get the hearts all the way over there oh well Okay, so there is uh, there is a trick to this room. There it is. <laughs> I'm good. Daddy's good. <laughs> I think this one. Yeah, try to save arrows in this dungeon. Try using them very sparingly if you can. Alright, gold, gold, gold Skultula. So I was looking at this room. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, stop. Trying to hit the... Okay. Stop. Open the chest. Five rupees. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. There it is, arrow. Bundle of arrows. I think that's all you get in here. Those just kind of lead you off the path. <laughs> Now that that's done, back onto the real path. Yeah, you can just kind of, if you got the bigger on sword, you don't have to do the song and dance anymore. You can just kind of. Okay, I gotta wait. Because we got friggin' wall masters or floor masters, whatever you call them. Uh, be a little gentle here. Point in the game, you should have enough hearts, so 
dang it. Those things don't suck. Good. These players want to jump out and get me? One with the eye of truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. Okay. Ah. Come on, climb up. Okay, I can climb up it. Okay. Yeah, it's too big to climb. Okay. This one you kind of want to be slow and steady with. Got a long way to go with this. So, push this, push, 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 push. Now we got pull. Keep pushing, the other side's gonna come down on you, obviously, so. Yeah, really think about it. Yeah, thank you. There's something in here, too. Like I said, you're gonna need arrows a lot in this dungeon, so try to use them sparingly. If you have the ability to upgrade the quiver through the Kakariko uh, Kakariko shooting game. Oh, not good, not good. <laughs> All the treasure chests that are around here, there's not much. That drops a box over there. Okay. Key! happened there, but I didn't take any damage, so it's all good. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. We might, yeah, we're gonna have to backtrack. Okay, we did get the key, though, so that's good. Yeah, that, that that helps. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm like, there's something. Oh god. Yeah, let's take care of that. <laughs> uh, we got zombies in here. No oh, wait. So Sun Song will paralyze them, as I showed before. It's one of the best things I like about the Sun Song. First, take care of the re-deads first. Two swipes. Don't worry about the spikes. When you attack them, get behind them. I don't think there are any like rigged treasure chests in this, so you might be all right there. A specific spot you gotta stand on. I know, an Yankee. <laughs> See that gold school tula behind the thing? Oh no, there are no bats. Oh, there are bats. Oh, what the heck? Okay. Come on. Any more bats want to mess with me? Yeah, how do you like that? What's up, huh? What's up, bro? You want some? Hey, your friend, you just watch your friends die. <laughs> Think I'll spare you? Nope. <laughs> okay. okay. So this one, I think, yeah, you just gotta... Bomb in there. Spits out a key. Small key. I think that's everything in here, yeah. Yeah, this dungeon is kind of a linear track now. Yeah, just like, it, it looks like it's twisting and turning, but it's really not.
Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go back up to the third floor eventually to go back down. Yeah, we got the dungeon map. We got the compass. We got the boots. Which is the treasure here. Not sure there are any more re-deads. Open up. We're making good time. I know there's a trick with this one. Oh, right. We gotta wait for the fan to stop. Maybe that'll work. God, I know this trick. <laughs> the first time I played this, I did not know the Sun Song trick to defeating Redeads. The Redeads really freaked me out when I was younger. <laughs> I thought they were dead people. <laughs> no, it turns out they're created with magic. It's a good way of getting around the lore, but still. Lore arrows. Here, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them, then they will be led to the hidden path. Okay, so that means we gotta go back. The sacred feet is the boots. So that's what they want us to do. Oh, here we go again. Love the reach on this sword, holy crap. Help. We get Rippy. Nothing. <laughs> There is something in this room, but where is it? Stop that. Okay, this time I... Okay. This I actually remember. There are points in this dungeon that really frustrate me to the point where I actually have some semblance of a memory of them. 
That area right there, basically. Where there's like a little mound of dirt. Yeah, that's a really important thing to bomb, which is like the first time I've seen that in a dungeon. Okay. I mean, it kind of tells you on the map, though, but you, you, I, I did not know this. Okay, this is the fairy room. Or the boat room. <laughs> We gotta ride this thing. Push this over here. Should lead back to the swinging scythe room. Yeah, okay. Ow. Not smart. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! We gotta go back. <laughs> okay, so don't do that. <laughs> if you fall down here, you're stuck. If you climb up there and then come back down, you're stuck. So now we got backtrack. Thankfully, I know exactly where I'm going. Yeah, we can't. We gotta go all the way around. Go through here. Oh no, no, no. In spider room again. At least they drop hearts sometimes. Come on, bro, I just heard you. <laughs> Now know where they are. Sword's longer, bro. You're not gonna. <laughs> You're not gonna win a dick measuring contest against me. <laughs> Sword measuring contest. You know what I mean? All right. So now there we go. 
almost back to where I was before. This room. Stupid fan room. Ooh, real scary fans. <laughs> It's a little scary when they start like blowing you directly into the path of a, of a, pet, of a down a pit. Yeah. <laughs> Do my way over here. Okay, almost. I was gonna say we're back where we were, but we're not. Okay, now we're back where we are. <laughs> this time I'm not gonna climb up there. Yeah, this dungeon really messes with you on a lot of levels. <laughs> The floor masters, the invisible stuff, the jail bars and stuff. Now we got a big freaking death boat right here. <laughs> Happy little death boat. It's not really like scary, it's more like creepy. That's the that's a good thing. This is like creepy. <laughs> like, you know bad stuff is happening down here, but <laughs> you just gotta get through it. I feel almost kind of like an audience member to creep the show, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, get on here. And you can see the... You can see the yeah, you can see the symbol painted here. So this is obviously like a royal family sewer boat, I don't know. Here we go. Boat ride. Let's go. This love boat is leaving the sh is, is, is What what's the word? Is heading ashore, I don't know. And at some point you will have to jump off this thing. Jump off. It's this way. Yeah, ship is sinking. <laughs> okay. Here. 
Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We will do this next time. <laughs> Dang floor masters. <laughs> Sorry for being weird, guys, but that is going to wrap things up for this video. Uh, next time we should be at the end of the... At the end, we should get to the boss. Uh, stay tuned. Yeah, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Tim Plays Game. Stay tuned for more Ocarina of Time videos. Uh, Till next time, this is Tim from Tim Plays Games signing off. And have a good night, guys.